Hello everybody, it's me, Jonathan Graham again, and today I'll be showing you how to fold my modular coin purse. This I designed a few months ago. As you can see, you pull it apart and it opens up like a box. For this, you need four squares of paper, and here's one I'm used with duo paper. And you can see it has a nice duo effect with the front and the back. So for this, we need four squares of the same size of paper. In this case, I'm going to use six-inch pieces. You're going to start with the white side facing up, or if it's dual paper, the color you want to be the not-so-dominant color facing up. So first we're going to fold our paper in half both ways, like this, edge to edge. Unfold, and fold in half the other way. Crease it well. Now we're going to take this edge and fold it to the center crease, making sure that You well, actually fold in the center crease. I accidentally creased all the way through, but you're actually just going to pinch. I accidentally went all the way through, but if you want, you can just pinch the center. But for the video, I'm going to put it all the way through so you can see better. And then fold it to that pinch, which, or if you fold it through like me, to this crease, this edge to this crease here. Unfold, and I'll bring this edge to this new crease you made. and then fold this down. Remember this crease here you would ideally just pinch in the center but I made a, a, a crease all the way through just so it's easier to see. Now we're going to take this corner here on the lower left side if you're holding it like this, lower left, bring it to the center to the center right here, essentially bringing this edge to this center crease. Just like that. I'm going to flip it over and bring this edge here so it's like this, so that this folded edge is, is on the lower left. You're going to bring this raw edge here to this line here. Increase really sharply because this is, especially through this thicker part here. Unfold. Now you're going to bring this center crease here to here, doing the same thing. So the crease will go from here diagonally that way. So bring it over. Lining up this center crease to this crease. Should, and increasing again only this section really sharply. If, essentially it's going to go right to here but you're only going to crease this side and unfold. Now we're going to flip it over or sorry, like this. We're going to put a diagonal crease that goes from this center point here out to this corner. Bring this edge to this edge increasingly from only from here to here. Really, really good crease. Unfold now, flip over, fold in half. Bring this corner to this edge here, essentially bring this edge to this edge. And make just a pinch in the center. You can crease it all the way through if, through if you want, but I'll just pinch it. Bring this, now you can bring this corner to that pinch. And make sure to crease this really well. Unfold, open this up. Remember this line, this crease here is just for clarity purposes, you would just want to actually pinch it. Now you're going to need to make four of these, so now one more step we have to do is unfold this once like that. And there is your module. Now we need to make four of these, so they're all the same. I already made my other three here. See I have two blues and two pinks. There. So now to put it together, you can always go back and watch again if you need to remember how to fold them for the, for the last three. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take one like this, here's the blue one, see this flap here. This colored area here is our tab. This pink folded part and this is a pocket. So we're going to take the blue piece, put it under the pink piece, and this pink part tab here, area here goes underneath this blue part, blue and white section. See that? We're going to bend this flap up a bit so it works better. Make sure it's pushed in all the way. Now we're going to take the next one, you see here, the blue piece. Put the blue is going to cover the pink, like this. And this blue edge is going to go underneath this white flap, just like that. Push it all the way. And now, if you look at the bottom, there's this extra flap here. You're going to push it out to the outside, like that. See that? Now this is sort of tricky. We're going to kind of do these both at the same time. We're going to take this pink one and slide it in like we normally do. Actually, that's what I'll do. I'm just going to slide in like I normally do. Like we did before, the pink... See, this pink will go underneath this blue and white part. 
And again, I'm going to take this pink flap here and kind of bring it underneath this other flap. Like that. And the blue piece, you can kind of pull apart here. Bring this blue piece so it goes between those two pink layers. See that? So, see how it's underneath this pink part? And this white flap is on top. Push it all together like that. Make sure you push it all the way together. Now you have kind of a box shape. Now to lock this, this will be the bottom of the coin purse. To lock this, you're going to take this flap here, and we made this crease here earlier when we are folding the modules, because that, you're going to fold this in, so it should be pretty easy to do. And then here, and here, tuck it underneath, nice, as far as it will go right on the existing crease, and here. Mount and fold it behind. And now I'm just going to kind of have a diamond shape there. I'm going to just push down here, flatten the creases. And if, when you're finished, you should have an, it should be nice and stable now. And that's basically the bottom. See, here's the coin purse. There's the bottom. There's the bottom. So now I've got to finish the top. So we can we have here some loose flaps here. You can see there's a pink one here, blue one here, and they kind of go like that, kind of one underneath each other. The other. I'm going to take this pink one. We'll start with this one and tuck it under the blue band like that, and I have to kind of lift it up, like that, I'm going to go this way, I'm going to go clockwise, and again here, or I guess this is counterclockwise, I don't know, take this pink little raw edge here, fold it up, and make that blue one go underneath. And again here we have this blue one here, I'm going to take the pink piece, and tuck it underneath the blue just like that, see? It's not that hard to do. Once you know, once you uh, make one or two, the assembly is quite easy. And then one more here, this pink one. This is sort of trickier, but it's the last one. Just tuck that blue underneath that, the blue edge, underneath the pink raw edge. Let it come up in front. you notice here we have kind of a box form forming here. You can see how this is sort of buckling here, or kind of bulging out, but that's okay. Just try to make sure it doesn't bulge out too much, but that's, that'll work fine. Now we're going to take this, see this crease at the top here, we're going to fold down this hem here. So I'll start at a corner, and make sure you got all the layers, and you're going to just tuck it in, roll it down on the existing crease, and you're going to make your way around. See, it should just roll it, should, this is pretty easy actually, just roll it in there. And just roll down on there. It's like you're rolling in a, I don't know, a hem, kind of. And now you're just going to go like this and flatten those creases. And believe it or not, we're almost done. You can see this still is kind of buckling here, but that's okay. It'll still work fine. Now to collapse this. This is pretty much our finished model. We just have to collapse it along these creases right here. So to do that, I'm going to take the corner here and pinch it and make sure these layers here are pinched right in the corners. And we're going to kind of bring it together sort of like this. And now we're going to set it, it helps if you set it down on a table like this. And now you can see these diagonal creases. We're going to start folding these over on those creases. In this case, we're going to kind of turn this clockwise. So you're kind of going clockwise all the way around. And you can rotate the whole model if you'd like. And you can see how it kind of looks like a plus sign here in the middle. And then you just keep going and just make sure it goes all on the existing creases. And there we go. So now I'm just going to flip this over to really flatten, especially going from the center to the corners, because that's where there's a lot of layers, and you really want this collapse down nice. Same on this side. And there it is. That is the modular coin purse from four squares of paper. Now to open it, you're going to grab any two of these opposite sides, just here and here, and just pull apart and it pops open. And then to close it, you just go like that, snaps closed. But again, this one, once you open it and close it a few times, it'll really open and snap closed very easily. So that's how you fold my modular coin purse. I hope you're able to make that. So please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.